Hello guys, it's Ray J and this is how to FTP to your original Xbox. FTP, also known as File Transfer Protocol, basically allows you to send files directly to your Xbox from your computer, whether it's a PC, Mac or Linux. This means you're able to transfer games, movies, music, photos and many more to your soft modded Xbox. It really does allow you to utilise the power of the Xbox and its soft mod, therefore turning it into a very versatile device. There are two known methods of FTP to the Xbox. One is via a crossover cable, and the other is to connect the Xbox to your home network via a router. I will show you how to do both methods, they both work great and it really depends on whichever works best for you and the placement of your Xbox. For example, if your Xbox is too far away from the router and your computer is connected via Wi-Fi and your Xbox is closer to the computer, then I'll suggest using a crossover cable. But if your Xbox is near to the router and your computer is connected to the router via an Ethernet cable, then I would suggest connecting the Xbox to your router. It's really up to you. So without further ado, let's get stuck in. First of all, we need to make a few changes on the Xbox. So go ahead and turn it on. Okay, so once we're on the Xbox, you want to go onto the system, then select Settings, and then you want to go down to Network. Once you select your network, go down to the bottom, and you want to remember User, Xbox, and Password, Xbox. And then you also want to remember your port number, which is 21. Now you want to change the max number of users. At the moment, as you can see, it's 2. However, we're going to change it to 5. So go ahead and click on it, and type the number in. The reason for this is because if you had large folders to transfer that had lots of subfolders and files, then it would be a lot faster if you had more users. So having 5 means that 5 files could be sent across at one time. The reason I'm not putting the number too high is that there is less chance of corruption, as the more files being sent at one time has a higher chance of it messing up. So we will just stick with 5, as it's quite a good median to have set for all purposes, whether you're transferring games or films. Now we want to go onto the computer and install an FTP client. For this video I'll be using FileZilla as it is available for Windows, Mac and Linux for any of you using other operating systems than Windows. So go ahead and download the program and follow the installation wizard through like so and then install it. All you have to do is press next, there's not really a lot to it. So once FileZilla has installed we need to change a few settings. So load up the program and then click on edit, settings and then click on FTP. You want to make sure that the transfer mode is passive rather than active. Now go down to transfers and put the maximum simultaneous transfers to 4. However, if you had a different number of users on your Xbox, for example 7, then you'd put this as 6. The rule of thumb is to put the transfers one lower than the number of users. Now click on file types and make sure that the default transfer type is set to binary. This is to rule out any problems as the Xbox only reads in binary. Okay, so after doing all of these steps we can now move on to sending files to the Xbox. First I will show you the DHCP router method. Simply, you want to connect your Xbox to the router. You can do this via a power line adapters, wireless receivers, switches, or the most common, just a standard Ethernet cable straight from the router to the Xbox. I myself have a switch set up in my room which is connected to my router so that all of my devices can run off a pure Ethernet connection. Alright, so on the Xbox, go to Systems, then go to Settings, and then go down to Network, and you'll just want to make sure that the type is set to DHCP and not static. Then go right down to the bottom and hit Save. Then restart the Xbox just to make sure that the settings have been saved. Once restarted, plug one end of the cable into the router and the other into your Xbox. Wait a few moments and as you can see, down the bottom the IP has changed to 192.168.1.91. Yours may be different so make sure you remember the IP that is given to you as you'll be using this very shortly. Ok, so now we can go onto the computer and transfer files to the Xbox. Launch FileZilla and then at the top where host is shown, type in the IP of the Xbox that was given to you. So for example I'll be typing in 192.168.1.91. For username type in Xbox, password Xbox and then port number 21 and then hit on quick connect. As you can see we now have access to the Xbox and on the right hand side is the Xbox file system where we can edit and place files. Alright so do not touch the C folder as this is where all the system files are and if we mess around with this it could potentially brick the Xbox. The best place to put your games, films, emulators, music, etc. is in the E, F and G folders. As you can see, I keep my videos in G, so for a test I'll place them over an episode of a TV show that I enjoy. As you can see, in the Q file section, the episode is copying over with its percentage being shown. Once the file is completed transferring, we can check on the Xbox to make sure that it's been transferred. Ok, so go over to the Xbox and then check for your file. Seeing as mine was a video, I'll be using XBMC to access the file. And there we go! The video has been transferred and it is good to play. Now I'll show you the crossover cable method. 
First of all, you'll need to buy a crossover cable. To make this clear, it is not an Ethernet cable. Even though it looks exactly the same, you cannot use a standard Ethernet cable for this. Some crossover cables will have it written on them or an X symbol printed on it. You could also make your own crossover cable with an Ethernet cable by switching the cables around, but you can look on another YouTube video for that. There's plenty of tutorials online. But the easiest way about doing this is you can just buy a crossover cable from Amazon or eBay or a local store, and I'll make sure to put the links in the description below. You want to make sure that your Ethernet port on your computer is free and then plug in the crossover cable. One ends into your computer and the other into the Xbox. Alright, so we need to go onto the Xbox network settings by selecting system, then settings, and then network. Once here we need to change the type from DHCP to static, and then we want to change the IP address. So type in 192.168.0.2. Now go down to the bottom and hit save, and then restart the Xbox. As you can see, the IP address has been changed to 192.168.0.2. So because we're using a crossover cable, we need to change some settings on the computer. So go over to your computer and head over to Network Connections. If you're on Windows 8 or 10, then just simply search for Network Connections using the key combinations Start and S. For previous versions of Windows, just make sure to find Network Connections on Windows. It shouldn't be too hard to find. So what we want to do is change some settings on the Ethernet adapter. So right click on it and then select Properties. Scroll down and select Internet Protocol Versions 4 and then hit on Properties. Once here, click on Use the following IP address and then type in 192.168.0.1 and then for the subnet mask, type in 255.255.255.0 and then click OK. Now hit Close. Go on to FileZilla and on Host, type in 192.168.0.2. For username, type Xbox, password, Xbox, and then port number 21, and then go ahead and click on Quick Connect. As you can see, we're connected to the Xbox. Again, do not touch a C folder, we only want to play with E, F, and G. Alright, so I'm going to create a new folder directory, and I'm going to put an episode of one of my favourite TV shows on. So just drag over the file you wish to copy over below, and then you'll see the file transferring over. Again, to make sure the file has successfully copied over, go onto the Xbox, and then you'll be able to see if it's there. Again, I'll be using XBMC to check this out, and as you can see, the video has been copied over fine. Remember that if you use the crossover cable method, and you intend on using your Ethernet port as usual on your computer to access the internet, then you'll need to make sure to revert the settings we just made in the network connections. So go back to network connections, click properties on Internet Protocol version 4, then delete the fields and select obtain an IP address automatically. Now hit OK and close and you'll be able to use your usual Ethernet cable for the internet as normal. And that's it guys, that's how to FTP to your Xbox via the two known methods. So just pick whichever is best for you and happy FTPing! If you had any problems FTPing then make sure that FileZilla is not being blocked by your firewall, but in most cases FileZilla doesn't even get blocked. If the message password disabled pops up then just press OK, go over to edit, settings, interface, and under behavior, untick, do not save passwords, then you're good to go. I hope you enjoyed the video guys, and if you did, then please leave a like, drop a comment, or even subscribe, as it really does mean a lot. If you have any questions, then just leave a comment, I'll try my best to get back to you. And I hope you have a great day, and thanks for watching. This has been Array J.